What's up, CrossFit Palm Beach? Welcome back. This is Monday's workout. Uh, the big focus today is going to be on pressing and then also some hinging. So for the strength, we're going to start off with some push-up strength works. We've been doing some um, floor press. We've had a lot of push-ups in workouts, but now I want you guys to take some time to actually try to progress the push-up. If you guys are working towards the push-up, this is a good opportunity to get stronger at it. So the way it's going to work, we're going to do four to five sets of a range of push-ups. So this number is gonna be different for everyone, but I want you guys to pick a number for you that you know you can stay consistent on through four to five sets. Now, this will change a little bit with your number because there is a tempo involved with it. So for the tempo, it's going to be two seconds down, a two second pause at the bottom, and then you guys will explode back up. So that may limit the number of reps you can do, which is perfectly fine. Um, but again, it needs to be something you can hit for four to five sets um, with some rest in between, okay? For these push-ups, if you guys need to, feel free to go to an elevated surface. If you guys feel very efficient at push-ups, like you guys can do 15 plus unbroken push-ups per set, what I want you guys to do is do it from a deficit. So if you guys can see with me, I have some plates stacked up. So your hands would go on top of the plates now so that when you go down, you have a further range of motion, two seconds down, two second pause, and then explode up. Okay, that'll just make it a little bit more challenging for you guys that do have um, pretty efficient push-ups. All right, as soon as we're done with those, or as soon as we're done with a set of push-ups, you guys have four to six um, single leg RDLs in between. So this will also have a tempo. I'm gonna demo with a dumbbell, but again, you guys can use a barbell or kettlebell, whatever you need. But again, you're gonna start on one leg, two seconds on the way down, get a good stretch in the hamstring, squeeze the butt and come back up. Try to keep that back leg as straight as possible on all of those reps. So for there, you'll go four to six per side, rest as much as you need, and then again, four to five total sets of that strength piece, all right? When we're done, we're gonna go into the workout. Workout today is two a days. So this is a 15, 12, nine workout. The movements are no push-up burpees, kettlebell swing, and double unders times two, okay? So the way it's gonna work, 15 no push-up burpees, 15 kettlebell swings, 30 double unders, okay? Then you're gonna go 12, 12, 24, nine, nine, 18, okay? Then it'll be time. You're gonna rest three minutes, and then you're gonna repeat the same exact 15, 12, nine workout. Your score on this is going to be the total time, rest included, okay? So for those movements, just a reminder, no push-up burpees, you're jumping out, and jumping right back up with a little jump and clap. Our goal is to maintain that plank position on each of the reps. Try not to let the hips sag on there. Then you're gonna go to the kettlebell swing. So today it's going all the way overhead. So if you guys have a dumbbell, you can do that with a dumbbell. If you guys have a kettlebell, you'll obviously do a kettlebell swing. And then if you guys have a barbell, I'll let you guys choose between a very light hand clean or a lighter deadlift, okay? Something you could stay unbroken on for those reps. And then finally, you guys will have double the double under reps. So if you're doing the 15, again, it's 30, 24, and then finally 18. This should be something you can move through pretty quickly. So feel free to go um, single unders, or you could even go plate hops on that. Again, your score is going to include that three minutes of rest, and it's gonna be a total time. Plug into SugarWad, let us know how you did.